What's up, man? 25 gamers. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at our base man coverage from the 416 package in the Carolina playbook. And to illustrate this video, we're going to use the halfback circle from the shotgun doubles. The base man coverage, guys, we call it in combination with our base zone to always give our opponent a different look. Typically, this is going to be called in second and short situations or situations where we don't need to send pressure. We're not trying to really get our opponent. We're trying to catch him off guard uh, where he may be thinking there's heavy pressure coming. But in actuality, we're going to go with a drop back D and try to get an interception or just contain his offense. The base man coverage out of this package comes from the two men under. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to base the line. And then this is up to you. You can just manually move more over here, or you can press coverage. If you press, the computer is automatically going to move him over for you. If you don't press, you have to manually do it. Now, why would you not want to press coverage out of the two men under, you say? Well, if you don't, if you don't press, so if you just base a line, they're going to get what's called trail coverage, meaning they're going to press for about that long every single time. And it's, gonna, it, it, it's, a, it's a timing thing. Whereas if you base a line and press, watch, watch, watch what Des Bryant does this time. Right there, and then they go. So it's about a second and a half difference, and it's it's important. It really is. It messes up timing, and you can set your zones up accordingly. Okay? So what I like to do personally is I like to base a line and just manually move him. All right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put the middle linebacker in a hook zone, shade our coverage out, and then we only need to do a couple more adjustments. We're just going to put Ayers here in a purple zone because he's opposite side of the running back. All right. We're going to put Miller. Uh, we're just going to put him in a quarterback spy. And then we're going to put Wolf in a quarterback contain. He's going to act almost like a flat defender for halfback slip screens and stuff like that. And like I said, you know, and you could, I mean, if you want to have Miller blitzing, you'd rather have him blitzing than just re-blitz him. Uh, just depending on whoever you want to have blitzing. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me. You see, you got one guy blitzing. You got good coverage all over the field, and it's just gonna force him to say, "Hey, take a lot, of, take some time." You're gonna try to roll it to the right, maybe if you're right-handed, and there's gonna be a contain sitting right there. If the quarterback's left-handed or their or, or their running backs on the left side, then we like to do the same thing. We just flip the setup. So we're gonna contain on the left side here. Miller's gonna go into a uh, quarterback spy, and now Wolf is gonna go into a purple zone. And now you see, now if we try to throw a slip screen to the left, it's covered. And if we try to roll to the left, it's covered. So just use that depending on tendency and stuff like that. But, guys, this is a really good coverage. Uh, to mix it in with the zone coverage is going to start to allow you to get a lot of turnovers. Um, this is a good play on first down if you want to just kind of fill your opponent out maybe on the first drive. But I typically would call this in second and short or second and medium situations where I'm just trying to see what my opponent can do because I know I don't have the downs to play with pressure. So, guys, be sure to add this man coverage to your arsenal. It's always good to have a base zone and a base man coverage that you can go to at any point in the game to know what you have. So, thanks for watching today. If you have any suggestions or any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. If you, have any fur uh, if you need further explanation or have questions, then also add those in the comments below. Or you can email me. My email will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget that I am on Twitter. And you can share this video on Twitter. It would really help me out a lot. Thanks for watching today. And be sure to check out our Scheme of the Week offensive version where we teach you how to beat man coverage in Madden NFL 25. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you tomorrow.